prepare the guys who are come back again to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will say this video is basically for education purposes only. Do not add or break into any device you do not have authority over. So today we're going to look into another anxiety type of an active directory attack called Kevin Austin. It's a very common type of uh, active directory attack. It's also one of my favorite type of an active directory attack. How? Before we dive into the demonstration part of it, I just want to shed more light on what Kevin Austin means and to let us know the detailed attack step uh, we can take to perform this attack. So what is Kebelostin? Kebelostin is a type of an active directory attack that targets weaknesses in Kebelos authentication protocol used by Microsoft Windows Active Directory or used within our Microsoft Windows Active Directory environment. So it allows attacker to extract encrypted service account credentials from the domain controller, then we can take them offline and track them to obtain the plain text. So this attack is kind of particularly concerned uh because it's concerning because it doesn't require better privileges or direct access to target account password. So uh the key concept in KBRST is number one, we need this service accounts at the KBRST authentication. Those two are very, very crucial. So we know in the active directory environment service accounts are used to run some services and applications. So these accounts are often kind of have a service principal in SPN associated with them. So it can be used for Kibana's authentication. So that is what service account is. So if you want to know more about this, you know, attack this Kibana's you can also read more or learn more about it. Uh, yourself just feel like I should now give more insight a little bit before we go into the demonstration part of it. So let me just go briefly on the detailed steps in attacking or in cable hosting attack. So number one, you have to identify the service account. So once you uh, can embed the service account within the active version domain, you know, that have and as I said, all that is associated to SPN. So we can use a tool like Power View to do the conditions. Then you request for the TGT, I mean TGS ticket. So the attacker requests TGS ticket for identified service account. So this ticket can be used by user PS, which we're going to use on the demonstration part of it. Also, once this uh, we extract the encrypted ticket, we can take it offline and use uh, the the tool like uh, John Ripper or Ashka to crack it, and from there you can now access the service account with the plain test password. So that is how the attack looks like. So without wasting too much time, I'm going to share my screen. I'll get to go into the demonstration part of it. So I believe we can see my screen right now. So uh, I already have access, uh, already, let's say we have access to uh, a system already that is joined to the domain controller. So this is a system that is joined to the domain controller and we need to perform the attack from this system. So the first thing we need to do is we need to embed the service account on the system. I will get to use Power View. So I look, so I already have Power View here for the enumeration. The first thing we get to do is to view the enumeration and get this, you know, know the uh, service account that is associated with the Active Directory domain. So I'm going to copy the command here to use. And then So once we run this and we can now use this command again. So this will list the same account that is associated with the active direction domain. So we have the W space QS service and carriage S and most SQS and so on. So we can just pick any of them. Let's say we target SQS service. So we want to target SQS service. So, the next thing we need to do is to run Rubius. Uh, I also have Rubius in the system. So, that is all we need to do uh, to run Rubius and uh, 
perform the action using the BS tool. So I'm going to copy a command that we need to use. Yeah, so I already have it on the test file, so I don't want to waste too much time in typing out the commands here. So I'm going to just copy Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to replace the user with the SQS servers. It is the command I'm going to use to get the password, the ticket when we play that way. So this is the hash here and you can see that it's as a signal with the SQS service account. So this is what we're going to copy. We need to copy everything here. And I'm going to put it in a test file. Okay, so I can create this, create it. Nano, let's call it test.txt. I'm going to paste the hash here. Hello, no. okay, I need to copy that. Let Okay, so we're going to save it now. So we're going to save it. And the next thing we're going to do now is to crack it with each bar ash card or John I like John Dury, but I'm much more better than ash cards. Uh, it's one of my favorites, so I'm going to use John Dury. Okay, so this is the command I'm going to use. I'm just going to change it to test. Let's TST here. So you can see now from here command after running trying to run in John Ripper uh using this work list up here that says we're able to add the password which is password on to the permission. Now we have the service account username and the password. The next thing we can try to log into the system we get in. Let's say we want to use let's use in packets. Yeah, that's that. So the let's okay, the domain uh the the server is one seventeen, it has the point. Let's just change this to SQS servers. Once we run into request for the password, we need to put password or not. Or to the main station. And from there, we're able to, we're able to log into the system with the authority. So that is how Kerberos to look like. It's very simple and direct and straightforward attack. And it is one of the ways attacker can compromise accounts, machines within the Active Directory environment. Okay, so I believe we have all learned something today, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video on another type of an active drill attack.